Olo again, nuggets of wisdom coming at you again. My topic today is very straightforward. Are you making withdrawals with, very, with no deposits? It's a question and I want you to think deeply about this. Are you making withdrawals without deposits? Brothers, I ask you that question again. Are you making withdrawals without no deposit? Let's talk about it. Welcome back. Why do you please like, share, hit the notification bell for new content. My brothers, I've been thinking about this. This sounds like a very obvious advice. We understand this statement in the banking world. We understand this statement when you run your credit card. When you run your credit card, if you have not paid off that credit card or you've not deposited into that bank account, what you're going to get is insufficient funds. And oh no, why are you telling me this? Dog, I already know that I didn't put the money in, so I don't expect to get it out. But we know this for credit. We know this for money. We know this for banking. If you go to get a loan, they want to look at how much deposits, how much do you have? How have you been handling your money? How have you been depositing? They want to look at your deposits versus your withdrawals. They want to look at your credit history. That's all your deposits you've been doing over the years. Now it's time to withdraw. What is the withdrawal? The withdrawal may come out as a bank loan. The withdrawal may come as a business loan. The withdrawal may come as you get a good position. There, there, there's a lot of things you've happened, but you have to understand that you cannot deposit. You cannot keep on withdrawing without depositing. And I don't understand this 2024 life where everybody wants to feel entitled. They want to keep on withdrawing. Everybody believe I deserve this, I deserve that. But they have seldom done any depositing. Olu, how does that work with me? Olu, what does this actually mean? Because it seems that we want to live life. Life is our simple principles. But guess what? None of us, most of us don't actually follow it. And if we follow if we follow the simple things, maybe the hard things will be much, much easier. We know this in the credit world. We know this in the business world. But do we know in relationships? Do we understand it? I'm going to be just opposing between relationships and work. So if you look at it in, in, in many situations, are we, are we able to say we can withdraw where we've deposited? Have we put in the work to, to, to ensure that relationship is going where it needs to go? I don't want to blame that this is not a gender war. But I want to make, come to a statement that I hear a lot of, on YouTube and over the social media. I want to live a soft life. What is a soft life? What do you mean by soft life? I hear ladies say that a lot. And we, soft life means you're not living. Because life is not supposed to to be a gravy train it doesn't have, suppose to be to that you you just wake up and you don't actually deposit into something. So this notion and this understanding that we believe that we can keep on withdrawing without depositing is a fallacy. It's not going to work. So everybody can bat out their demands. Even as a guy, I cannot demand from a woman. What I have not been able, if I have not, if I have not 
deposited into her. If I have not sat with her, planned with her, thought with her, loved on her, I cannot expect her to give me anything back because I have not put anything in. And we so much understand this, but it comes that once we, it, when it comes to relationship, we kind of, we kind of have a, 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 an, an, an amnesia, like we, we have selective thoughts. You know that you're not going to play with your money if you need to go on your trips. You don't want to go on your trips. I don't have enough funds to spend when you're on the ship, when you're on the cruise. You know these things. You know that if you don't treat that relationship properly, it's not going to work. You know these things. But yeah, yeah, he's there, so it doesn't really matter. If you don't show up at work, if you don't put in that deposit, you don't put in that timing, you're not going to be able to get that promotion. Withdraw and deposits. And you want, but you know this for work, but when it comes to relationship, especially good ones, I'm not talking about toxic ones, we seldom sit down and believe that this is going to work because we believe, oh yeah, he's there, he likes me, she likes me, so she can do whatever he wants. This does not make any sense at all. And in 2024, everybody wanted quick, hot, and in a hurry. So no work is put in, no preparation is put in, no plan is put in, and we just want the result. We are so attached to the results that we don't even work on the journey. We like the destination, but there, there's we don't want to work on the journey. And the journey looks like the process that you have to put in to get to the destination, but we seldom do this. And we think that things are going to just line up the way they're going to line up. So let me give an example of what I mean by deposit. Deposit means knowledge that you put in to get to be able to withdraw and use that knowledge and actually monetize that knowledge. Deposit means that you, you, you put in your skill set and make sure that it works for you. Deposit means that you check on the, your loved ones and you know that everybody is straight. And they know, and you know those kind of things. Deposit means that you keep on laser focus on things that you need to focus on. These are what deposit means. I ask you the question again. Are you making more withdrawals than deposits? Because if you are, you're going to live an insufficient life insufficient funds, insufficient peace, insufficient everything that you, you imagine is not just going to happen. You got, if I'm in a relationship with you or I, I, in a woman and you don't check on that person 72, 72 hours, you, 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 uh, maybe you want to, you want to cool off the relationship, whatever you want to do, but do not expect You know, you do not expect to keep on withdrawing, to keep on requesting, to keep on demanding where you have not put any deposits. It, does, it doesn't make any sense. So I want that to say that to you today. What does withdrawal look like? Distractions. Lost focus. I'm going to tell you that happened to me. I'm not putting that on anybody. Sometimes life is so life in that i'm losing focus on some things that i need to do and i'm gonna be honest with that so that is withdrawing from me but i'm not really depositing it and it doesn't help and when there's when i withdrawing uh, it's like driving a car on 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 e at some point it's gonna stop so my brothers i want you to think about this. What am I doing to ensure that I'm in depositing in critical areas in my life? That the, the, the return on investment is going to be so great. 
am I putting my deposits in? Or I do a little work and withdraw everything. It's a question you need to ask yourself. You need to understand this. That as simple as this sound, people will say, yeah, I know this. But how many of us really do it? How many of us take inventory of what we say we are we were doing? We assume we take other people that love us for granted and we expect them to show up when we need them. We have not put any deposits in, people. We know this. This is just some food for thought. Sounds very simple advice. It don't sound you're looking for something deep. No, it ain't that deep. But it's profound. And it's critical. So I'm going to finish with this, bro. Are you making more withdrawals than deposits? And the more withdrawals you make, with very less deposits, we give an easy, efficient life. This is Olu again, Nuggets of Wisdom, I'm out.